So in this uh, second part of the digital technology design for geographic citizen science uh, lecture, we will review some examples from uh, geographic citizen science applications in the global north and in the global south. Uh, we will focus on geographic citizen science and therefore I will start uh, with uh, um, a definition. Uh, so most volunteer geographic information is defined as uh, digital geographic information that is generated and shared by individuals. Also, citizen science uh, is defined as a scientific work undertaken by members of the general public, often in collaboration with or under the direction of professional scientists and scientific institutions. Uh, citizen science, when recorded uh, using computers, is also a type of user-generated content, and here the content is scientific facts, observation, or analysis. Where VGI and citizen science intersect, we have geographic citizen science, and it, it is defined as scientific work undertaken by members of the general public, where the data generated has a deliberate and explicit geographic aspect. So first we will review a couple of uh, examples of geographic citizen science applications from the global north. And the first one is the application Improve My City. Uh, Improve My City aims to promote participatory culture in, lo in local communities. It is an open source scalable software solution which enables citizens to report non-emergency local issues such as potholes, uh, blocked bike lanes, um, broken sidewalks and so on within their community. The reported issues are automatically routed to the appropriate local authority department, which then uh, monitors, manages, and schedules immediate action. This voluntary engagement of citizens in the collection of digital um, geographic information, first of all, opens up new forms of interaction between citizens and their government. The adoption of non-emergency tools such as uh, Improve My City allows governments to improve their service delivery and accountability and also encourages citizens to be more engaged and play a more explicit role in becoming the eyes and the ears of their local authorities. Um, however, I want to mention here that the adoption of an open and transparent geographic citizen science solution like this one in the governmental context brings usually some challenges for governments and comes with political concerns. Uh, this is something that the application operators comment on in their chapter, uh, which uh, a link is provided on the slide, and which I have personal experience in a similar project. So local authority politicians during personal communication with uh, Improve My City operators during the very early stages um, expressed concerns about opening up the process to public scrutiny in case they are not able to satisfy uh, citizens' requests. However, evidence from other studies suggests that citizens' perceptions of other governments and their willingness to engage can be reshaped and enhanced if governments' operational transparency is promoted uh, using similar applications. Some of the specific design challenges that the authors identify include, uh, first of all, um, the registration. Although anonymous reporting is possible, the overwhelming majority of uh, Improve My City installations require citizens to be registered because local authorities prefer to interact nominally uh, with their citizens and registration eliminates spamming. The second design, fe design features the authors mention is push notification, which is used for local authorities to notify citizens more di directly about the reports, which is a brilliant example of a two-way communication within the e-government context, but also about other things such as cultural events, local news and announcements. The third concern refers to the analysis of the geographic citizen science data. Uh, there was sophisticated analysis provi provided uh, on Improve My City, uh, which was a great tool for, for discovering hidden patterns um, in the overall infrastructure of the city and assessing the performance, um, for example, in terms of identifying underperforming departments. Duplicates uh, is a very uh, important issue here, and the um, developers, in order to deal with this issue, designed the app in a way that during the submission of a new report, its users are prompted to fetch from the server all issues in the same category within the last 10 days from a radius of about 20 meters um, and return a list of potential problems reported at the same uh, location. Uh, grayed out markers of the suggested issues appear on the input map to denote potential 
Israeli related reports. The citizen uh, can follow, follow a, a link to an existing issue and instead of resubmitting it, it can simply give a positive vote to show their support. And last but not least, the issue of privacy and protecting people's personal information was very important here. Personal data are secured and kept confidential, and also photographs containing sensitive information are censored through moderation. So the second example is the Hashidi application, which is a citizen science mobile application uh, which was designed to address an issue framed at the European environmental policy level. And this is how to properly identify and map urban quiet areas to, in order to protect them by applying the soundscape uh, probes. It started in 2008 with an investigation of 28 mobile apps on noise issues and found that none of them uh, could be used by people to specifically map and assess quiet areas by collecting big data. Therefore, the Hashit app was developed with the aim of addressing um, the following uh, issues. First of all, increasing participation, um, improving science on that, on that, in that context, uh, creating um, an effective tool for policy, policy making, improving health and well-being of citizens, and improving education and civic awareness um, around the impact of noise and uh, of noise on health and biodiversity. Some of the design issues that uh, the developers found within that context, this was first of all, setting up rewarding mechanisms to motivate users and retain participation. And to do that, they added the Hashit the ambassador feature, which is updated monthly. Um, additional homepage features include the localizer icons, which is, it, um, uh, indicates the exact user's location on the map while using the app, so that by clicking the user, by clicking on it, the users can refresh and double check their geographic position before starting mapping and collecting uh, data. <clears throat> which also they found that um, speeded up the process quite significantly. Um, they found that uh, the app has one session of users who installed the mobile app only to use it once uh, or just for testing purposes. Um, and also the long-term users who use the mobile app on a regular basis. Uh, this is several times a week, several times a month and so on. Uh, this is a pattern that it is very much in line with um, mainstream citizen science projects. Uh, the majority of Hashuti users, though, who are long-term users, they do not uh, share um, the data that they submit via their social media, and therefore the developers suggested that future improvements will improve awareness uh, of, uh, of users that these features exist and they can use it. Also, from the youth feedback that they collected, it was found that the majority of user experience problems were related to a stable and unreliable internet access. Uh, and they are planning to address this uh, this issue by giving uh, to the users the possibility to collect data offline and upload them when an internet uh, when an internet connection is established. <clears throat> Other barriers highlighted by the Hashidi users uh, refer to the questionnaire that it is embedded in the mobile app and which uh, kind of like guides uh, data collection. Some users found that the questionnaire was extremely long and annoying uh, in terms of not being able to skip questions. And that was that caused a lot of extensive discussions within the developers, within the development team. Um, and uh, they finally decided to make the replying of the, the, make all the questions mandatory so as to collect consistent data which can be used for research purposes. Um, so now we will go and review some examples from the Global South. Um, the first one comes from Cameroon, uh, where since 2016, uh, the Extreme Citizen Science Group uh, works with BACA communities in Cameroon. Many BACA communities felt a great sense of uh, injustice toward external wildlife traffickers, pillaging forest resources, and consistently expressed a desire to be involved in tackling such activity. A geographic citizen science application, uh, which is called Sapali Collector, was developed and used in this context in an area of 953 square kilometers to support the collection of illegal wildlife trade and the animal monitoring data. At the same time, uh, this was found to be the only viable mechanism to update to obtain uh, the legal wildlife trade and ecological information necessary for effective forest management in the future in this area. 
some of the design challenges and the lessons learned from this case study, which by no means they are exhaustive, is that first of all, People in the in this area, they are low literate, some they are non-literate and therefore text-based interface wouldn't work well with them. So you saw in the um, previous slide, uh, the pictorial interfaces were developed with the icons designed by the community itself. So to make, to make sure that they understand what its icon means. The second concern was that none of the participants had previously used touchscreen phones. A period of training was undertaken to show people the phones and train them how to hold them, how to use the touchscreen, at the location of the camera, speaker, microphone, and so on and so forth. During this process, it became clear that specific device models were required, namely those which were uh, uh, racked, waterproof, shockproof, and dustproof, and feature physical buttons rather than on screen ones. Handsets with a touch hypersensitivity option proved more popular, especially among elder users whose fingers are highly calloused as a result of life in the forest. Uh, for those with the roughest uh, skin in their fingers, even hypersensitive screens were non-responsive. And um, the authors describe as situations of licking fingers or using knuckles and noses uh, proved to be effective and very humorous um, solutions. So the data being collected in this project is extremely sensitive and may have significant implications in terms of potentially expo exposing the volunteers details, which could be perhaps used to identify them and then in that case put their lives at risk. Therefore, the users express their concerns about this and they obviously ask to ensure that the application and the data cannot be accessed by outsiders or if it accidentally does, individuals collect this data cannot be identified. Um, and for that, uh, there is an anonymous ID system and password protection that is used to protect um, users. And the final example from the Global South comes from uh, Brazil. So the Pantanal is the largest wetland in the world. It boasts a wide um, and unique biodiversity. <clears throat> Local fishers are directly dependent on it for their label, uh, daily livelihood. However, the current legislation for resource management and consumption in the area follow the scientific recommendations of conservation biologists, which assume that people are fixed in time and phase. And this gradually led into the people's physical and economic displacement. Um, a geographic citizen science project, which again uses Cipelli Collector, is being used with local communities in this area since 2014, who collect data about the use of natural resources and, the, and their strategies. And some of the lessons learned in this case, <clears throat> in this, first of all, in terms of designing the icons, in this case, volunteers, although they were still mostly non-literate, thought that hand-drawn pictorial icons look very childish. Their exposure to photorealistic images as their communities are either not completely isolated from those or they travel to nearby locations where they can uh, they, they do get to see high quality visual imagery resulted in replacing all hand drawn icons with scientific uh, illustrations of fish species that they were collecting data for. <clears throat> the researcher in the field envisions a much more detailed uh, data collection system where collected um, data would be used to answer several research questions. However, this proved to be very complicated and a very complex interface and um, people found it extremely time consuming to collect data and therefore it was significantly uh, simplified. Um, and the reason for this was that people were collecting data while fishing as they had to collect geolocated data to demonstrate their fishing practices and where this take place. Therefore, in order to ensure that people are not distracted for too long from their main daily activities, the task duration had to be restricted in, in taking as little time as possible so that people uh, find, the application continue, uh, find the application useful and continue uh, to use it.